Welcome back. T.I.'s little girl, Deja Harris, focuses on her battle with sadness and tension in another YouTube video. The unscripted television star uncovers she's been battling with her emotional wellness for a considerable length of time. Deja Harris stood out as truly newsworthy after T.I. uncovered that he goes with his girl to her gynecologist visits to guarantee her hymen is as yet unblemished. Because of the exposure this welcomed on, Deja, the 21-year-old, needed to manage melancholy and tension. Deja uncovered she has been experiencing melancholy and uneasiness since she was 11 years of age. Experiencing childhood in the public eye, Deja needed to manage analysis from all sides. On top of this, she uncovered that she was harassed in school, which drove her to feel numerous things growing up. Recognizing the significance of emotional wellness, Harris chose to share a video on YouTube about psychological well-being to help supporters that notwithstanding to remember how imperfect an individual can be, there isn't anything that should be added or detracted from your identity personally. As the years progressed, she's needed to manage harassing in school among numerous different variables, which drove her to manage psychological well-being issues growing up. Now that she's more seasoned, she's chosen to talk about this somewhat delicate point, wanting to urge others to go on with their recuperation interaction and take as much time as is needed. Emotional well-being doesn't separate. You won't ever be the special case for recuperation, so make sure to compassionately treat yourself. Another trailer for T.I. and Minuscule Companions and Family Hustle was as of late delivered, and it uncovered Deja making some noise about the dubious gynecologist issue interestingly. While it didn't reveal a lot, fans are in for a wild ride. This season, to additional add to the storyline, Small concedes that her significant other has a specific approach to misrepresenting that could undoubtedly be misconstrued by individuals in regards to the issue he needed to look with Deja. With the new season moving close, fans will at last get to see the intricate details of the issue and shut down the entirety of their hypotheses. Clifford T.I. Harris made his Music World presentation in 2001 with the arrival of I'm Not Kidding. Nonetheless, it was only after 2003's trap music that he set his status as a craftsman to watch. When 2003 attracted to a nearby, this collection had generated three outline hits. 24's had an especially lengthy running presence on video shows, and the actual collection scratched the main five of the bulletin collection outline. From that point forward, T.I. has delivered 11 collections, been named for 19 Grammys, of which he's won three, featured in six fruitful times of the VH1 unscripted TV drama T.I. and Small The Family Hustle Inverse Spouse Tameka Minuscule Coddle, and as of April 2021 amassed a $50 million total assets. Yet, for every one of his victories, the rapper has had similarly as numerous contentions, while perhaps not more. Whether it's straightforwardly quarreling with burglarized Kardashian about having a supposed trio with Kardashian's ex-Black China or clashing with Kanye West over political perspectives, T.I. is no more peculiar to standing out as truly newsworthy. Beneath, we investigate the most disputable examples that demonstrate T.I. has a genuinely obscure side. Since T.I.'s most memorable capture and conviction, back in 1998 when he was seen as at legitimate fault for conveyance of cocaine, fabricating and disseminating a controlled substance, and giving specialists a misleading name, per WSB Television Atlanta, the rapper has neglected to avoid inconvenience. In the wake of being condemned to three years in jail, he served one and was delivered waiting on the post-trial process. Yet before long disregarding its terms, as per MTV, T.I. was captured however not sentenced for wrongfully having a firearm in 2001. He was captured and sentenced for wrongfully conveying a 10 millimeter gun in 2002, then at that point, condemned to three years in jail after a 2004 pursuit of his home-disclosed weapons and ammo. Maybe the most promoted episode came in 2007, hours before he was intended to perform at the BET grants. T.I. was captured for purchasing unlawful assault rifles and silencers and later condemned to 366 days in jail, per MTV. Leap to 2010 when a traffic stop drove both T.I. also, his better half to have to deal with drug penalties. As per CNN, an appointed authority managed his capture and an ensuing bomb drug test disregarded his probation on a weapons conviction, bringing about the Atlanta local getting a 11-month jail sentence. 
Most as of late, police captured him in 2018 external his gated local area as WSB-TV2. Atlanta learned T.I. didn't have his key, and the watchman wouldn't give him access, which prompted a furious trade with T.I. inquiring, Don't you know who I'm? Plunking down for a meeting with DJ Who Youngster in 2015, T.I. found himself mixed up with serious high-temp water when he announced he'd never decide in favor of Hillary Clinton due to her orientation. Not to be misogynist, but rather, I can't decide in favor of the go-to person for everyone who loves freedom to be a lady, he started, explaining that each and every other place that exists, he figures a lady could get along admirably, yet featured that being president isn't one of them. I simply realize that ladies go with rash choices genuinely, and later they pursue exceptionally long-lasting, like solidified choices, and afterward, it's similar to it didn't work out, or they didn't intend for it to work out, and I sure would prefer not to set off a nuke, he attempted to make sense of, adding, the world ain't prepared at this point. A beast was chosen before a lady. He chuckled, and the reaction was quick. Dissident Mickey Kendall tweeted, T.I. offered something dumb about ladies. Indeed, a day closes in yai. Oprah Winfrey imparted an ideal reaction to TMZ. Honey kid, quiet your mouth. You don't have a clue. Three days after his underlying comments, T.I. at long last chosen to apologize, tweeting, My remarks about ladies running for president were unequivocally uncaring and wrong. I truly apologize to everybody I outraged. In November 2220, 26-year-old Chicago rapper Ruler Vaughn was shot and killed in Atlanta following a quarrel between his team and Quando Rondos. As per Atlanta Police Vice President Timothy Look, an actual quarrel swelled into a trade of gunfire outside the Monaco hookah parlor around 3 crown in the first part of the day. The occurrence left two individuals dead and Lord Vaughn in basic condition. Soon after the occurrence, T.I. posted an obscure message on Instagram that seemed to reprimand and minimize Ruler Vaughn's passing. In the since-erased post, he stated, Atlanta is a lovely, moderate city loaded up with dark greatness. We elevate one another and win together. Quit coming here to kill one another, adding, handle your meats in your city. Because of the post's timing and its reference to the shooting, most, including 50 Penny, accepted it was in light of the episode. The New York rapper pummeled T.I. on Instagram, stating, you got to chill. You messing with for saying anything. They got losses. This is genuine. Ah. Uh, he added, I don't have the foggiest idea what you were thinking, yet reconsider it now. T.I. then, at that point, attempted to explain his assertion. Remarks saying it didn't have anything to do with Lord Vow are terribly mixed up. He composed, Per Up and Coming Hip Bounce. I have no rationale or aim to cause damage or malignance to felines I'm cool with. My family's hearts go out to them. T.I. has a long history of making eyebrow-raising remarks, and he kept on working up contention in 2019 when he told the Women Like Us webcast, per BuzzFeed News, that he and his 18-year-old girl, Deja Harris, have yearly outings to the gynecologist to really take a look at her hymen. Yet again, indeed, I go with her, he declared uncovering that after her 16th birthday celebration party, he put a tacky note on the entryway which read, Gyno tomorrow 9.30. T.I. was hit with cruel analysis. The NFL's three-pointer Johnson tweeted, I have a girl and I won't ever do what T.I. did to his little girl. While Gloria Steinem told TMZ, That is a denial of basic freedoms. It isn't his hymen and it isn't his body. <laughs>